Hi, we are from Group Big Daily. Our title they want to present is Communication System in Internet of Things. Before we start introducing the communication, then there are exercise IoT. IoT is referred to a system of interreactor internal connected objects that are able to collect and transfer data over a wireless network without human intervention. The example of IoT are smart homes, connected cars, and smart city. Now let us get into the communication system that will be used in IoT. The first one is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a low-cost short range device or wireless stereo technology. It designed with lower power consumption for replacing short range wire communication like computer peripheral and mobile phone accessory. Bluetooth Low Energy The BLE is subject to Bluetooth 4 with you. Compared to Classic Bluetooth, BLE has low power consumption. BLE has become popular due to increased speed and range in connection. Okay, so let us introduce the IP and Zack Wave. What are they? ZB and ZWave is a short range wireless communication protocol that were designed for home automation devices to communicate with each other. So, how they work? Both technology use a full mesh network system enabling all devices in the network to operate as a repeater where the data is sent from one device to another to eliminate the problem of out of signal range with a very low power consumption and high reliability. So, what is the difference between them? ZB never are not limited to any specific number of holes, operate at 2.4 GHz, allowing more data to be transmitted but range of signal reduced the lack of compatibility because it is open wireless standard protocol mostly applied in home automation and smart grid. So for ZWave, there are only support up to 4 holes between controller and destination, operate at 900 MHz, slightly fewer data to be transmitted compared to ZB but wider range of signal. While well, it is great compatibility because it are here to a registered standard protocol, mostly about its security and light commercial environment. Alright, let's get into the Wi-Fi and cellular. What are actually Wi-Fi and cellular? Wi-Fi is a wireless networking technology that allows devices such as computers, mobile devices and other equipment to interface with the internet. Cellular communication is a form of a communication technology that enables the use of mobile phones, where a mobile phone is a bi-directional radio that enables simultaneous transmissions and reception. Do you guys wonder how Wi-Fi and cellular work? Well, Wi-Fi lets you connect to the internet via your router. Cellular data lets you connect to the Wi-Fi via your cell phone signal. So if you are not at home near your router to use your home network, and if you are not connected to the public Wi-Fi, it's likely that you would use your cellular internet. What are the differences between them? For Wi-Fi, first you can set up yourself in home, second one location base uh, covers small areas, and the third one typically Wi-Fi has no limit for the amount of data. While for the cellular users, purchase plan for a certain amount of data per period cover large areas and lastly offered by the mobile carriers. Alright next, radio frequency identification RFID. RFID is a wireless non-contact use of radio frequency waves to transfer data between 100 meter and 1 km. RFID can be used for any orientation, it can speed up the scanning process but it is expensive. Common application of RFID includes touch and go or even e-passports. Alright next. Near Field Communication NFC. Near Field Communication is an IoT technology. It enables simple and safe communications between electronic devices and specifically for smartphones. It involves contactless payments such as Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, or even PayWave. The downside of it compared to RFID is that it can only be used within 4CM. Now we are going to see what is LoLa 1. LoLa 1 is low power wide right area networking protocol designed to wirelessly connect battery operating things to the internet in regional, national, or global networks and target key Internet of Things requirements such as bidirectional communication and to a security, mobility, and localization service. This is the transmission of data of LoLa 1. We receive the data at the end device and upload the data to the gateway, which ends the converter or the access point through the LoLa 1 network and then transmit to the network server for further process. LoLa 1 is power consuming, it requires minimal energy with for longer battery life than up to 10 years, minimizing the battery replacement cost. It could have a long range of connection, it connects devices up to 30 miles apart in rural areas and penetrates dense urban or deep indoor environments. The communication system in IoT are Bluetooth, ZB, ZWave, LoLa 1, etc.